Come over here. <laughs> oh, what the hell's wrong with you, man? Oh, Come on. Right. Is, uh, There's like just, nothing on there. The, the bee or something. You got oil? I forgot about that shit. I was going to do it too. You got oil? You're getting me hot. Two fifty Z H R, UPT intakes, and E eighty five install. This one here came in like this. This coil pack has no bolt because somebody had already messed up the thread and they glued on like a nut on top of it. But it doesn't matter because it's gonna push the coil pack up. It's not gonna make enough contact so there's his this hose he has that just holds it in better but come on like this is not how it's supposed to be so just bring the car ready to tune not with things loose and all that especially if you already knew this was an issue which he told me he knew about it but actually this was not even on there I found it right there just hanging down so i don't know where he got that from but i found it and i put it on um he just needs a whole new valve cover like that's that's what it is like just put a new one on there someone already tried to fix the old one obviously that's not how it goes like all you have to do is buy a new valve cover and that's it Two thousand nine G thirty seven six speed. I just did the the baseline pull and already explained it to the customer. This one's really really low. Um, I mean, just look at the torque two seventeen. So there's a few possibilities. So it could just be that it really really needs a tune, which that has happened before. Um, the car is just too many mods; it won't perform. You know, as I always say, every engine. Um, performs differently with whatever mods you put on it and the other thing would be there's actually something wrong with the motor so with the information I got from the baseline pool there's actually a pretty good chance that it just really needs a tune so we're gonna um, see what happens now I'm gonna make some changes I haven't started on anything and I'm gonna upload the first file that I'm gonna make based off of the baseline and then we'll see if we can get some power out of it Okay, the first set of adjustments have been uploaded. Now let's see what it does. So we gained 24 wheel horsepower, so that's really good news for him. The torque uh, is probably about 240. So if you remember from the previous videos, I would just ignore, you should ignore the first one 300 RPM on a Dyna pack. Um, so it's probably about 240, not much of a difference here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell him that, yeah, everything looks good. So it just, his car just really, really needed a tune. Second set of adjustments are done. Let's see if we can get a little bit more power out of it, even though he already gained a lot of power. If you think about it, his baseline was really low, so that just brings it to the normal uh, numbers. But either way, his car did gain the 24 wheel horsepower. Uh, let's see if we can get some more. Do the next pull.
So it would be about 240, 241. Next adjustments are in the ECU already. And let's see what it does. We got one more horsepower. So we're at 289 with horsepower. 28 wheel horsepower peak gains last pull was 289 and 243 hmm clutch feels kind of weird now kind of struggling to go into gear probably i mean it feels like a stock clutch probably can't handle the torque anymore so let me just pump this pedal a couple times get some more pressure in there and I got it in. Actually pretty good for um, his exhaust system which is um, the Berg test pipes and I think it's an Nvidia dual exhaust but the muffler is um, <laughs> sideways it looks almost like OEM but it's like half the, the size hey that was my car <laughs> oh yeah let somebody borrow it um, really good actually this car just really really needed a tune so as you can see, that's why I always say every engine reacts differently to mods and a tune. So I'm glad that this motor is actually good. Just really, really needed a tune. So uh, maybe I'll go over that in detail after I explain to him uh, his final numbers. So looking at the logs, his final numbers are 290. I'm going to show the previous um, I'm going to show the baseline and the final numbers. So these are the final numbers. The baseline was 261. The final tune was 290. 28.8 wheel horsepower gains. So that's a lot. And then the torque, the baseline torque was 217 with no tune. Now it's 243. The difference is 25.8. 